Hello friends, welcome to our Dr. Zegi's Academy. Today I will start the another topic related to a phenol which is related, which is known as acidic nature of phenol. So in this video we will discuss number one is acidic nature of phenol means why do the phenol show acidic nature? Next one is a comparison of acidic nature of phenol with the alcohol. Third one is a fact of subsequent on its acidity. And last one is a reaction of reaction to show the its acidic nature. So let's start. So uh, what do you mean by acidic nature of phenol? So as we know acid is a substance which donates H positive ions. So the acidic nature of phenol means the phenol they are released that is the H positive ions and form phenoxide ion. So why do phenol show acidic nature or we can say that why does phenol donate H positive ions. So acidic nature of phenol is due to the presence of this highly electronegative oxygen atom. So due to presence of this electronegative oxygen atom, it has tendency to withdraw the OH bond pair electron toward itself. So when it withdraws the electron toward itself, then it releases that this H positive ions. So when it releases the H positive ions, it means it shows acidic nature. So that is why phenol shows acidic nature. The acidic nature of phenol it can be explained with the help of resonance effect. So here we have a phenol. It releases this is the H positive ions and to form the phenol oxide ion. So in resonance both phenol and phenoxide they they are stabilized by resonance means they are resonance stabilized however the phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol so due to formation of more stable phenoxide this phenol has a high tendency to convert into more stable phenoxide with the release of H positive ion. Since it releases the H positive ion, so it means this phenol shows acidic nature. Now the next question that arises in our mind that the why does phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol? So this can be explained with the help of resonance effect or resonance theory. So in this case, I will draw the resonating structure of phenol as well as phenoxide. First, I will discuss the different resonating structure of phenol. So here we have a phenol in which the oxygen contains two lone pair. So this lone pair, due to presence of this lone pair, the oxygen, they give the electron toward the benzene. So in this case, this elon pair, they are shift toward this carbon oxygen bond. As a result, this pi electron shift toward this carbon atom. So due to shifting of these electrons, lone pair or pi electron, we get the another structure of phenol. So in this case, due to shifting, this carbon oxygen bond, they are converted into a carbon oxygen double bond. So since this oxygen donates the electron, so that is why this oxygen acquires positive charge. And due to migration of pi electron toward this carbon, so this carbon acquires a negative charge. Again in the another structure, this electron, they shift toward this carbon-carbon single bond. As a result, this pi electron shift toward this carbon atom. So due to migration, this carbon-carbon single bond is converted into a carbon-carbon double bond and here we acquire some negative charge and we get a, another structure, this one, third structure of phenol. So again this electron, this uh, negative charge shift toward this side and this pi electron migrates toward this carbon atom. 
and we get a another structure in this case this carbon acquires a positive charge and here we get a carbon carbon double bond this carbon double bond remain as such so again migration again migration and due to migration again we get a double bond this carbon oxygen double bond is converted into single bond and here the oxygen atom in phenol they get neutralized and we get a, another structure of phenol so these are the resonating structure of phenol these are the five resonating structure of phenol so due to a mixing of these five structure we get a resonance hybrid structure of phenol so what is a resonance hybrid structure of phenol so in this case the structure number 1 and structure number 5 that is the oxygen the oxygen in this case and oxygen in this case don't carry any charge whereas in structure number 2 3 and 4 oxygen carries positive charge it means due to a mixing or due to a hybrid structure in a hybrid structure we get a phenol in which the oxygen carries a partial positive charge in a structure number 1 and 5 this benzene does not carry any charge whereas structure number 2 3 and 4 the benzene carries negative charge this one this one and this one so it means due to a uh, mixing we get a benzene carry partial negative charge another important is this in structure number 1 and 5 carbon oxygen single bond whereas structure number 2 3 and 5 carbon oxygen double bond so in resonance structure we carbon oxygen bond is neither single or not double in in between so this is a resonance hybrid structure of phenol similar the resonating structure of phenoxide so this one is phenoxide in with the oxygen carrying negative charge so due to the presence of negative charge now in this case this negative charge this extra electron they shift toward this carbon oxygen single bond as a result there is a migration of pi electron so in this case the lone pair they are remain occupy the position they don't migrate so due to this migration we get the second structure of phenoxide in this oxygen does not carry a positive charge where in case of phenol the due to migration of lone pair oxygen carry the positive charge but in this case we don't this oxygen there does not carry any charge so due to migration of pi electron this carbon acquires some negative charge again the migration of this negative charge and pi electron we get a negative charge on this side and carbon carbon single bond is converted into a double bond and we get a structure number 3 so in which carbon acquires negative charge another migration this is a negative charge and migration of pi electron as is the carbon carbon single bond is converted to double bond and this carbon acquires a negative charge and we get a, another four structure and the last one again shifting of negative and pi electron and we get a final structure of phenoxide so again due to resonance we get a resonance hybrid structure of phenoxide in which the structure number 1 and structure number 5 oxygen carry negative charge whereas 2 3 and 4 oxygen does not carry any charge it means the oxygen due to a mixing means oxygen carries partial negative charge whereas in case of benzene this benzene 1 and 5 does not carry any charge whereas 2 3 and 4 the carbon carry or benzene carrying a negative charge it means in this case benzene carries partial negative charge whereas structure number 1 and again 5 carbon oxygen single bond whereas 2 3 4 carbon oxygen double bond so it will get a partial neither single or not double it means in between single and double bond so this is a resonance hybrid structure of phenoxide so we get a resonance structure of phenol as well as phenoxide so what is difference between phenol and resonance hybrid structure of phenol and phenoxide so in this case phenol contain 
both positive and negative charge. So due to presence of opposite charge, phenol requires more energy to for the separation. So that is why it requires more energy. It means it has higher energy. It means it becomes more unstable. It is a less stable or more unstable. On the other hand, phenol side, they has a only single charge that is a negative charge. Means it does not require any energy to separate the charge. It means we can say that the phenoxide is more stable as compared to phenol due to the presence of charges, due to the presence of difference of charges. So phenol which is a less stable it has high tendency to release that positive to form the more stable phenoxide. So that is why the phenol show acidic nature. So this is explained, um, this, uh, the acidic nature of phenol that is explained by the resonance effect. So why do phenol show acidic nature? Next one is acidic nature of alcohol. So as we know that alcohol is also acidic in nature. Here we have a general formula of the alcohol that is a ROH. So uh, acidic nature of alcohol also due to a presence of most electronegative oxygen atom. So due to presence of most electronegative oxygen atom, it has tendency to withdraw the, this OH electron pair toward itself. And it releases the H positive ion. So when it releases H positive ion, the alcohol dissociates into an alkyoxide ion and H positive ion. So since it releases H positive ion, so means alcohol shows acidic nature. So it is clearly that both alcohol and phenol show acidic nature. The so next question arises that out of alcohol or phenol, which one is more acidic? So the answer is alcohol is less acidic than phenol or we can say that phenol is more acidic than alcohol. The next one is why? So this is explained with the help of again that is two, fa two factors. Number one, it is uh, it has been clearly shown that alcohol the release is a H positive ion with the formation of alkyoxide ion. So less acidic nature of alcohol than phenol is due to the two factor. Number one is that is the neither alcohol or nor alkoxide ion are stabilized by the resonance. Whereas both alcohol and phenol they are stabilized by the resonance. So second factor is in alkyoxide the presence of negative charge on the oxygen atom increases its energy which lead to decreases stability. As a result, alkyoxide ion is less stable than alcohol. Whereas in case of phenol, the phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol. So that is why the, due to a less stability of alkyoxide, alcohol has less tendency to donate the, to release the H positive ion and form the less stable of alkyoxide. It means the phenol is less acidic than phenol. So next one is the effect of substituent on the acidic nature of phenol. Acidic nature of phenol that depends upon the three factors, basing on the substituent. Number one is the nature of substituent. Nature of substituent means that is the either electron donating or electron withdrawing substituent attached to the phenol. Second one is the position of substituent. Position or as we know that in aromatic compound, the position next to the function group is ortho. Opposite to the, oh sorry, alternative position of the function group is meta and the opposite position is para. So the acidic nature of phenol depends upon that at which position the substituent is attached. Are the substituent attached to ortho position, meta position or para position. Or we can say that 
will change the position of substituent. The acidic nature of phenol changes. And the last one is the number of substituent. If we change the number of substituent, then the acidic nature of phenol also changes. So first of all, we will discuss the effect of the nature of substituent on the acidic nature of phenol. So the effect of nature of substituent on the acidic nature of phenol. So as we know that the phenol that is ionized to form phenoxide with the release of H positive to show the acidic nature. So the substituent which is attached to the phenol either is electron withdrawing or electron donating. So the which substituent increases the acidic nature of phenol? It depends upon that the substituent which decreases the negative charge on the oxygen of the phenoxide. Which decreases the negative charge of phenoxide. So as we know, less is the negative charge on the oxygen atom of phenol, more phenoxide is stable. It means that phenol, they are high tendency to donate the more stable phenoxide with the release of H positive. It means the phenol become more acidic. So any substituent which is attached to the phenol, they decreases the negative charge on the oxygen atom. It makes the phenoxide more stable. It means it has high tendency to convert into a stable, more stable phenoxide with the lead. So it means acidic strength of phenol increases. So we have two substituent, electron withdrawing or electron donating. So if we, if the electron donating group is attached to the phenol, electron donating group means alkyl group, amine group or alkoxy group. So if the electron with donating group is attached to, then it donates some negative charge or electron density to this oxygen atom of the phenoxide. So when it donates, the negative charge on this oxygen atom increases. So when the negative charge on this oxygen decreases, phenoxide becomes less stable. If the phenoxide is less stable, then phenol has less tendency to convert into a less stable phenoxide. It means acidic strength that is of the phenol decreases. On the other hand, if the electron withdrawing group is attached to the phenol, such as a nitro, cyano or halogen group, when it withdraws the electron toward itself, as a result, the negative charge on this phenoxide that decreases. So when decrease the negative charge, it means phenoxide become less, more stable, sorry. And when it become more stable, then phenol has greater tendency to convert into a phenoxide with the release of H positive. It means acidic strength there of phenol increases. So the arrange the following phenol derivative in the increasing order of the acidic strength means which of the phenol derivative is more acidic. So we have a compound, number one is orthocrisol, next one is orthonitrophenol and last one is phenol. Which one is stronger acid? So it is clearly shown that in this case this is a methyl group which is known as electron releasing group and this one is nitro group, electron withdrawing group. So as we know, as we discussed earlier, that is the electron withdrawing group that decreases the negative charge on the oxygen atom of the phenoxide to make the more stable phenoxide. It means acidic strength increases. Electron withdrawing group increasing the acidic strength of phenol whereas electron donating group decreases the acidic strength of phenol. So this is the electron releasing, electron withdrawing. So electron withdrawing group, so means orthonitrophenol is stronger acid than phenol and this phenol is stronger than this one is orthocrisol due to its, its electron releasing effect. So this is the order of acidic strength of the phenol derivative. Next one is the effect of position of substituent on the acidic nature of phenol. 
So the effect of substituent is more at ortho and para position as compared to the meta position with respect to the OH group. If the electron withdrawing substituent attached to the phenol, then para substituted phenol is stronger acid than ortho substituted phenol, which is greater than meta substituted group. If the electron donating substituent attached to the phenol, then meta substituted phenol is stronger acid than para and which is greater than ortho. So this is the effect of position of substituent on the acidic nature of phenol. So arrange the following derivative in the increasing order of their acidic strength. So here we have a phenol derivative group. One is phenol. Second one is ortho nitrophenol. Next one is meta nitrophenol. And the last one is para nitrophenol. So which one is strong acid? So it is clearly seen that in all these compounds, electron withdrawing group is same. Means electron withdrawing group in nitro group is same. But the position of electron withdrawing substituent is different. In this case, ortho position. In this case, meta. And in this case, para. So, as we discussed earlier that ortho and para substituted group, they are more, the ortho substituent, they increase the acidic strength more than as compared to meta substituted product. So, ortho and para nitrophenol is greater than meta nitrophenol, greater than phenol because all these compounds are electron withdrawing group. It decreases the negative charge on the oxygen atom of the phenoxide is to greater extent as compared to simple phenol. So that is why these threes are, they are stronger acid than phenol. Out of three, ortho and para, they are a more, they show more acidic nature as compared to matter. So that is why this is a order. So now the question is out of ortho nitrophenol or para nitro, which one is strong acid? So in this case, that is the, in ortho nitrophenol, there is the formation of intramolecular hydrogen bonding between the oxygen and hydrogen of the this OH group. So due to the formation of intramolecular hydrogen bonding, this ortho nitrophenol has less tendency to donate the H positive ion because this hydrogen they are involved in intramolecular hydrogen bonding. So that is why due to intramolecular hydrogen, ortho nitrophenol is less acidic than para nitrophenol. So the correct order of the acidic strength is para nitrophenol is stronger acid than ortho nitrophenol, which is stronger acid than meta nitrophenol as compared to simple phenol. Next one is the effect of uh, acidic nature of phenol depend upon the number of substituent. So here we have a compound. So this name is 246 trinitrophenol. This is 24 dinitrophenol. This one is 4 nitrophenol and this is simple phenol. So which one is strong acid? So arrange the following compound in the decreasing order of their acidic strength. So in this case, it is clearly that nitro group is electron withdrawing group. So the greater the number of electron withdrawing group, that decreases the negative charge on the oxygen atom of the phenoxide to greater extent as compared to less number of electron withdrawing group. So the order of acid strength is, this is 2, 4, 6 trinitrophenol is greater than 2, 4 dinitrophenol, greater than 4 nitrophenol and greater than phenol. So this is the order of decreasing order of acidic strength of this phenol derivatives. Next one is arrange the following uh, phenol derivative in the increasing order of their acidic strength. So here we have a phenol. Next one is orthopyrsol. Next is metacrisol and this is a paracrisol. So as we discussed earlier, that is the electron leasing group that decreases the acidic strength of phenol. It means out of four, 
These trees are they are less acidic than phenol. Simple phenol. Now question arises that is out of these three, which one is strong acid? So when the electron releasing group is substituted attached to the phenol, then metacrisol they are a stronger acid than ortho and para. So out of ortho and para, which one is strong acid? That is a para crisol is strong acid as compared to the ortho due to a field effect. So the order of acid strength is phenol is greater than meta crisol, greater than para crisol, greater than ortho crisol. Next one is a chemical reaction to show the acidic nature of phenol. So due to acidic nature, the phenol shows two chemical reaction. Number one is the reaction of phenol with the sodium metal and reaction of phenol with sodium hydroxide. So we have a phenol that reacts with the sodium metal. So in this case, that is the OH of the phenol. We are replaced by with the sodium metal with the release of H positive ion. So in the case we take the two sodium metal and we take two molecules of phenol. So this is 2H2, they are replaced by the two sodium metal to form the sodium phenol side. So since this phenol is H positive ion, so it will phenol show acidic nature. Next one is reaction of phenol with the sodium hydroxide. So in this case of H of the phenol and OH from the sodium hydroxide, they are combined and removed in the form of water. So in place of H positive ion, this sodium ion substituted with the sodium ion to get a sodium phenoxide with the formation of water. So these are the reactions show show uh, the acidic nature of phenol. The upcoming video we will discuss the chemical properties of the phenol. Different chemical means how does the phenol react with different substances to form the different product. Thank you.